Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Learn, Apply and Build So here today we are going to do a very very interesting thing that is integrating chat GPT on VS Code So uh, we are following this amazing uh, medium tutorial or a medium note or medium blog it's, uh, it's done by the Pi coach and uh, uh, this guy is just amazing and uh, thank you thank you so much uh, for this amazing tutorial so let's get started and uh, uh, let's see how it works on our machine as well so to begin with what we need to do is we need to go to the settings and select the extensions tab now here you can just type uh, as it is mentioned you can just type your code gpt so when you go here and type code gpt let's say we have this code gpt uh, here so we go ahead and we install this uh, it's a uh, use the official uh, open ai api instant here uh, inside this vs code here so once we have uh, installed it uh, what it will ask us is uh, it will take us to it will take us to settings some uh, something like that and uh, in the extensions the extension is enabled globally now and uh, we go to features change log and uh, some details here so basically we have already installed here and uh, we have already installed a chat gpt extension or uh, yeah the chat gpt extension is there here now in the add to workspace recommendations we have added this to it now uh, in the preferences and the sections like what we need to do is uh, uh, we have to search like we have to go to our extensions right so uh, we'll do we'll go to the settings and uh, settings uh, we'll go to extensions yeah we have the uh, code gpt extensions here so uh, let's just uh, clear these extensions out here and we can see our own extensions so we have open ai here and max opens 500 we can select uh, da vinci and uh, our preferred language would be english and okay these are the these are some settings which we require and then uh, we'll have to input our uh, key that is the open ai key here so uh, it will be asking us the open ai key at the start itself i guess so let's just see where the key is to be added okay so these are too many here okay we have crossed the extensions here okay yeah to enter the api key what we have to do is press command shift plus p and search uh, this okay so we just copy this part okay and uh, control c will copy this and what they've asked is command shift and p that is control shift and p and we have to search for the code gpt set api key okay so set api key and we can add the key here or uh, we can add or we can paste the key here so i've just uh, created one key and i'll paste it and press enter to confirm so i've saved the key here currently now so let's move to the uh, next step that is uh, using that key here uh, so we can just go here and uh, to the okay just close these tabs now we've uh, created all what is whatever is needed here so just go here and we can have test uh, open ai dot py and to test this what we need to do is we just create a function function to create function to create or sorry to uh, calculate the bmi of a person of a person by taking height and weight by taking height and weight okay so let's just uh, press enter and uh, for running this uh, python file 
uh, let's just uh, so when we were asking some questions like uh, this uh, extension or that comment uh, so what we need to do is for uh, generating the code what we need to use is basically we need to use uh, some specific set of commands here so as it is mentioned here that uh, currently we are using the um, like we are there are three models currently so model currently there are three models available in this extension that is text davinci 003 and uh, code uh, fishman and code davinci 002 okay and uh, among this the code davinci 002 is the more powerful when it comes to coding and the temperature is temperature how, like it controls how much randomness is in the output okay the lower the temperature the more likely gpt3 will choose the words with higher probability of occur occurrences okay so to start with uh, basically to generate a particular code like if you want to explore code gpt that is um, this uh, and guys also do check out our amazing video which i am mentioning in the link below uh, which is about uh, the integrating uh, chat gpt in a streamlit application so that's amazing uh, which we have come up with and uh, we i've explored that i've explored that so and it is just some uh, of, uh, some content uh, which i come uh, across or i find i get ideas and uh, i start uh, bringing that or i start uh, uh, transferring that into a code or some sort of uh, an application and uh, recording that so please do support my content okay let's start with the exploring part so what we have to do is your command shift and i again so uh, we can uh, to like first is we need to uh, comment this out so let's just okay we have commented this out so how do we comment this in python file right so we have to comment this file as control slash right so this is a command now control shift and i again so you must create a comment here it says you must create a comment so how do we create a comment here that is come okay so let's just create a comment in the double slash format only double slash format and okay no that that got commented here now command shift and i so you must create a, it says you must create a comment so open the new window with the code and uh, uh, it will uh, it will it okay so let's let's just uh, enable the extension in the extensions part here ask for gpt ask for gpt here question here so we can ask a uh, we can ask for gpt that like write a function for me so that we can use here we can ask or we can have ask and then paste this here and press enter okay so for gpt says that i am thinking okay and it's there so we can just close this out okay don't save just close this out and just uh, label this as uh, okay we'll save this file as test okay we'll save this file first test underscore open ai dot py save it yes i want to replace that okay so this is saved now and uh, okay so just remove this part now basically and we have a function which is created as a, a bmi calculator which is taking the height and the width so bmi is calculated with weight height and it is returning the bmi and the end uh, it's uh, it's saying that uh, uh, height uh, it is asking the user for height and weight height in meters and uh, uh, in kg weight in kg and then you calling the bmi function so let's let's just uh, run this function let's just run this code and check that uh, whether we, we okay let's just save this first okay we've saved this and uh, now let us just run this so it will ask me for my weight and the height so okay let's just wait height in meters okay so 
how much is the 176 centimeter 178 centimeters in uh, 178 uh, centimeters in meters so to be just sure i know that it's 1.78 so it it will expect it will accept the answer and float as well right so i can just put 1.78 in meters uh, 178 meter 1.7 178 centimeters then we have weight in kg so my weight is 79 something and my bmi is that 24.933 seven okay it's 24.9 that's approximately 25 so uh, it has generated a code for me here and uh, uh, I so uh, I can do like I can do a, a number of stuff here I can just uh, uh, right click here and uh, ask code GPT here and uh, whatever question if I have I can just uh, frame that question accordingly and it will generate a code for me so you are asking ask code GPT right so you're asking a question to GPT so if I if I enter that uh, uh, write a code to uh, to find the to find the sum of n natural numbers so all your dsa level questions and all your uh, all your interview questions are done and uh, dusted by chat GPT or GPT, OpenAI GPT, code GPT basically. So uh, your uh, code GPT will be able to help you and uh, okay, so it has written code now, but it has written in uh, C++. So I won't like I have to mention that write a code in Python, right? So I don't save it. And uh, so uh, yeah, so in that way you can uh, explore this, you can, uh, uh, get this extension installed here in your VS code. So again, what you have to do, just go to uh, extensions, type code GPT, install it. And then once it is installed, uh, just go to your settings, your settings, extensions, and then in your extensions, you will be seeing uh, uh, chat GPT or code GPT, right? So in your settings, uh, okay, sorry, we just again lost it. So in your settings, you can go to okay in your settings go to settings and then you'll see extensions here installed extensions you can just um, eh, get your api key here so that's about it that's about uh, chat gpt and guys please like my channel and subscribe to my channel thank you so much and happy learning